Well, it's something parents do every single morning, the school drop off routine. But for some moms and dads, that routine has become dangerous and they want action before someone is seriously hurt. RTV 6's Nicole Griffin is working for you, looking into their concerns and asking what can be done to make an intersection near an elementary school safer. This is what the morning commute looks like for parents dropping kids off at Lapel Elementary and Middle School. I have to drop off to the elementary, the middle school, and to the high school. So I have to usually start my route early to get across this intersection to go to the high school. The intersection Stephanie Avalo was referring to is State Road 13 and 300 South. There is not a stoplight, which she says causes delays and congestion for drivers on 300 South. People that are coming from Anderson to get to Noblesville or to Hamilton Town Center nowadays, they're trying to come and go the back way. They can't get across this intersection because all this traffic doesn't stop and then it gets backed up because of all the schools and all the, the drop offs. I talked to another mom who tells me she lives just two minutes away from Lapel Elementary elementary school and instead of battling the traffic on 300 South, she loops around and gets on I-69 to avoid all the congestion. It's it's dangerous and um, I feel for the people that go across. The superintendent for Franklin Lapel Community School says in an email he feels there is a need for some kind of traffic control at the intersection. A large number of students commute to school from both inside and outside the school district. He says this is leading to congested traffic issues. And a lot of those kids are coming from Anderson and Hamilton County. So that increases our traffic flow because they have to be driven in. The buses don't go there. So the state hasn't kept up with the traffic flow. Now these two moms are encouraging parents to file complaints with NDOT to draw attention to a need for change at the intersection. We voice prided ourselves here in Lapel being a small town community and with only one stoplight, but I really do think it's it's time for another stoplight. Nicole Griffin, RTV6. Tonight, NDOT confirms changes are coming to this area, but not at this specific intersection. The one to the north at State Road 13 and Old State Road 132 will become a three-way stop this spring. NDOT hopes this will improve conditions and traffic flow at 300 South. Well,